<laughs> hey everybody today we're gonna make bushcraft tongs for cooking let's get busy tick 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 boom hey guys thanks for joining me today we're gonna go over how to make a simple set of tongs so whenever you're cooking around the campfire you have something to pick up and grab some of your food or just stir it around and of course, you can always complement these with other tools like spatulas and spoons. But let's get uh, let's get down here and figure out what we need to make one of these. In order to make these, you need. one stick about three feet long and everything else is going to come off of this stick we're going to cut about an inch and a half to two inches off the smaller end of the stick then we're going to cut the long stick right in half The next thing you need is a good sharp knife because we're going to do a little whittling, a little carving, a little fun and modify these sticks just a touch. Alright guys, before we start whittling and carving and having fun and modifying these two sticks, again I want to emphasize safety, safety, safety whenever you're dealing with the long sharp pointy objects that we're going to be dealing with. Make sure that you have your blood circle cleared out and make sure that you don't carve in between your legs because that's very dangerous! The proper prior planning before we start carving is to figure out which way these two sticks fit the best together. So you might want to have to fiddle them and move them around a little bit to figure out which way they come together. You don't want a gap like this at the end of your stick because it's hitting in the center here because then you're not going to be able to pick any food up here. So let's move them so they're kind of like that. Now they're touching at the ends, they're not touching here in the center, which once I put a fulcrum in here, we'll be able to keep that apart just like that, and then we'll be able to manipulate food. So the first thing we're going to do, after we figure out which way we want our sticks to be, which I think mine's going to be just like that, is we're going to flatten this out in here so that these fit nice and snug together with no issues at all. Once you get them nice and flattened out, you'll notice that they fit very nicely together. Just like that. So in order to keep them like that, we're going to take about a three foot piece of 550 cord and we're going to lash it together down here. To make a lash you just uh, make a loop, set it on there, make sure you leave a tag end out there and then we're just going to start wrapping around it just like that and you'll notice that the loop is down here and we're going to get to that in a second but just keep wrapping it keep it tight make sure these things stay matched up together as you're wrapping when you come up close and your loop is about to get completely covered Take your end, thread it through, pull it tight, just like that. Then you're going to take your tag end here and yank it that way. And a lot of times I just like to take my multi-tool and pull it because it's a lot easier for me to do that. 
just like that you got a nice set of tongs that you can stir food manipulate food grab food and if you're really good you can catch flies out of the air what happens if you don't have the grip strength to close this thing if you have weak feeble hands and the grip strength of a 12 year old girl and you, you can't do this let's move it on to the next modification we take that piece of wood that we had and we're going to move it down here as you notice when you put it down here it splits and makes the gap wider down here but you can always squeeze it and put it back together so if you move it closer this way the gap closes up here like that if you move it back closer to my left hand notice how it widens out the gap so you just got to figure out how far apart you want it let's just say I want it right about there that's a nice little space right there I'm going to notch out these handles so that it accommodates this spacer in here and it fits more snugly together So you can see that I put the notches up too far and when I put the spacer in there it did not keep these separated. Not going to work out as tongs. So I went ahead, moving it back a touch, made some more notches and now you can see I got a nice little space there to handle food. What we're going to do is just lash from here on back that keeps these tight against your fulcrum and keeps the space there and then we're gonna modify it a little more after that just make it look good and now you got a nice set of tongs and they're gonna work exactly perfectly for what you need them for but let's go ahead and fancy these up a little bit kind of like what I do with these guys just to you know add a little panache to it Now they come perfectly together, just like that. At the ends, it's gonna be a lot more useful, but we're not done yet. Let's just go ahead and chamfer off the ends a little bit here. Now it's starting to look like it's bushcrafting. And finally, let's take all this bark off, because bark's kind of dirty. So there's a couple different options as far as making a set of tongs for cooking. And of course, you know, you can always complement those tools with things like spatulas and spoons and other things that you can make off the landscape. And I do have a spatula video out, but I don't have a spoon video. It's in the making. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here, guys. I wanna wish you Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, if I don't make another video between now and then, because things are getting really, really crazy. Uh, I've got some pretty big things in the works. I'll share that with you later. But uh, until next time, guys, get out of the inside and into the outside. Merry Christmas. Take care. Do me a favor before I forget. Check me out over on www.bombproofbushcraft.com. That's www.bombproofbushcraft.com. Christmas is coming up. Get some good gear for the bushcrafter and survivalist in your family. Also, you know, check me out on Wimkin, Parlor, MeWe. Check me out on BitChute, Rumble, and YouTube. Hey, hey, what you doing? Get on over here and be quiet about it. What, what are you? Shh.
What are you doing? I'm hunting. Why are you looking so high in the sky? Deer. Shouldn't you be scanning the ground, not the air? Oh no, every year. There's eight deer that come by here every single year. Big old bucks. Oh wait, you can hear them. Hear it? Hear it? Oh yeah. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Pew! 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 Ooh yeah! Because he always gave me coal for Christmas. That'll teach him. That wasn't Santa that gave you coal for Christmas every year. That was Mom and Dad. Oh. Well, so sorry for ruining Christmas. Do you know a good veterinarian? <laughs> <laughs>